What time do you get up? I get up at 7 30 Monday through Friday. And on the weekend? I get up at about 10 o'clock. And what time do you go to bed? Sunday through Thursday at about 11 o'clock. But on the weekend, late. This morning, we have Joel Sartore, the photographer, with us. Good morning, Joel. Good morning, Simon. First, can I say I love your photos? Thank you. So, what is your secret? How do you take such beautiful photos? It's easy. I get up early, like at six o'clock. And take some photos. Then I take a nap at 12 o'clock. <laughs> you take a nap? Yes, I take a nap. And then in the evening, like about 8 o'clock, I take some more photos. The secret is the light. The light is good early in the morning and late in the evening. I see. Huh. Thanks for the tip. This morning, we have Joel Sartore, the photographer, with us. Good morning, Joel. Good morning, Simon. First, can I say I love your photos? Thank you. So, what is your secret? How do you take such beautiful photos? It's easy. I get up early, like at six o'clock, and take some photos. Then I take a nap at twelve o'clock. <laughs> you take a nap? Yes, I take a nap. And then in the evening, like about eight o'clock, I take some more photos. The secret is the light. 
The light is good early in the morning and late in the evening. I see. Huh. Thanks for the tip. What time do you get up? I get up at six o'clock. What time do they have lunch? They have lunch at one thirty. What time does Bill go to bed? He goes to bed at eleven o'clock.
Tell me about your work. Well, I'm a personal assistant at a travel agency. What do you do at work? Oh, I check my boss's emails. I make photocopies. I go to the bank. It's not very interesting. Do you travel? Sometimes. I go to meetings with my boss, like to Rio and Singapore. Not interesting. It sounds fantastic to me.
When an animal has a toothache, it doesn't go to the dentist's office. Dr. Sarah DeSands is a people dentist. She treats human patients in her office in San Francisco. However, she sometimes treats patients who don't come to her office or sit in her chair. What kind of patients are these? Animals. Dr. DeSands is a part-time zoo dentist. She and her father, Dr. Paul Brown, work in the San Francisco area. They do checkups, fillings, and other dental work on anyone or anything that needs them. Yes, I'm happy. I think it's a wonderful job. Going to the dentist is frightening for a lot of people. But when a dentist treats a zoo animal, it's the patient that can be scary. Some of these patients can bite off a dentist's hand. Okay, put your head down now. Steady. Dr. DeSands and Dr. Brown work in the most dangerous animal jaws. They're happy to do it. These animals need them. These dentists do checkups on zoo animals. Today, they start with Artie the sea lion, one of the dentist's best patients. He's an excellent dental patient. He's better than most people. Aren't you, Artie? Aren't you? So far as we know, he is an, quite an old animal. He's 30 years old, which is twice their normal life expectancy. And um, <laughs> he's happy about it. <laughs> um, so we're going to just look at his teeth and see um, if he has any... <laughs> any particular dental problems. They take an x-ray. They get a clear picture. Almost. Artie's checkup goes well. Artie's teeth are fine. Not bad for a 30-year-old who's never brushed his teeth. Want to hear him say ah? Yeah, could you say ah, please? Say, oh. <laughs> you are an excellent patient. Oh, yeah. The next visit is Dr. Brown's favorite animal, the elephant. He likes elephants because they have interesting teeth. This is a, a, one, an elephant molar. Elephants get six sets of teeth in a lifetime. When the last set is gone, they can no longer eat and will die. And this is Sue. She's 10 year old, little female African elephant. Open. An elephant's tusks are really teeth. The dentists check the teeth in Sue's mouth and her tusks. Perfect. She's in great shape. Her teeth look wonderful. Sue is the perfect patient and gets an excellent report. But not all animals do so well. The next patient is the San Francisco Zoo's rare black jaguar. Sandy has a terrible toothache and needs surgery. Unfortunately, we just can't walk up to her and say, can I look in your mouth? You may lose a few fingers in the process as well as maybe your head. So therefore, this animal has to be anesthetized in order for us to look at. Making an animal sleep is difficult. Sandy is 21 years old. They take her to the operating room. Everyone is worried. They start the surgery. Suddenly, there's a problem. Hey, Ron, why don't you come over here? Sandy stops breathing. First, the doctors give her oxygen. Sandy takes one breath per minute. The team acts quickly. Sandy's teeth are very bad. She needs two root canals and a filling. Dr. DeSands and Dr. Brown must now work carefully and quickly to take out the nerve of each bad tooth and then put fillings in the holes that are left. After a lot of hard work, the surgery is over. The Jaguar's visit with the dentists is finished. Sandy will feel well again. She won't have a toothache. The zoo dentists finish another day. It's all in a day's work for these zoo dentists.